What's going on guys? Indy here with Ultimate 2 Reviews. Well today we are taking a look at the Milesley. This is going to be their DP20 Pro. It's a 393 foot bilateral laser measure and what that means is basically it's going to have a laser measure on both the left and the right side. So they're pretty useful for of course you know taking measurements of rooms really quickly. Uh, myself personally I use them to take measurements for clients rooms for say setting up audio gear. Um, I'm not really looking for, you know, super accurate, you know, measurements. I don't need down to the inches. I basically just need like, you know, is this room 15 feet by 20? Is it 60 by 30? And also, of course, having the height of the room very quickly is a great advantage for me as well, too, because I can't obviously you know, get up on a ladder and try to measure with a tape measure. That's really never an option there. So um, I don't usually do an unboxing video on these, but this thing is a pretty wild box here. So it's almost like unboxing like a new iPhone here. So pretty wild here and you pull it out just in the bottom here as you pull this top off here and of course what's going to say it's going to be a laser marking auto staking two-way measure and one-way measure as well too so in the box we of course have a nice little case here it's not really a hard case not really a soft case kind of one of those in-between cases uh, we're going to have a wrist strap here we're gonna have a USB-C charger, but no wall wart for this. I always like to see those, um, especially if you're somewhere where you don't have, you know, a USB charging option available. Having a wall wart in the box is also great to have, but not too big of a deal there. Um, now let's check out the unit itself here. So check this out. We have a lot of buttons on the front here. Definitely worth reading through the entire manual. There's a lot to go over. It's one of the most complicated ones that I have seen to date. Um, a lot of stuff you can do with this thing. And before I get into that, let's check and see that it fits in this case here nice and snug. They like to be protected. Um, I'd like to double check that because if you're carrying this around, you don't want this thing, you know, slopping all around in the case and breaking itself that way. So this thing actually seems pretty solid in there. So that is nice to see. All right. So to turn it on, we just have a simple button on the front here. That'll turn it on there. Now it's going to be in a default bilateral mode here. So it's going to be a left and a right laser measurement. So basically a very similar breakdown. That's going to be your left. That's going to be your right. That's going to be your total distance of the measure. So if we do a quick press, that'll give me the continuous mode there. That'll allow me to, of course, be able to move this around. And of course, I get into a larger portion of the room here. It's going to go to a larger measurement. Uh, but overall, that's very common in most measurements there. And of course, lets you see their measurements in real time. So you can, of course, just keep walking on a job site and say, hey, I'm going to stop here. What's the measurement? OK, write that down and you're good to go from there. Now, that said, there actually is an app with this as well, too. Now, I will say the app, it's for a little bit larger ecosystem. It's not just for a dedicated measurement app here, but it does allow you to create forms and create basically measurements on top of blueprints, which is very cool. So you can, of course, just keep taking measurements and keep walking through a job site to get those measurements very accurately. Um, not something that I would use per se because, you know, you got to kind of figure it out and learn it first. But if you're doing like maybe, okay, say a couple hundred measurements on a job site, that could definitely be very, very useful. Now, I'm not a big fan of the constant beeping with the continuous measurements. Um, of course, being able to, you know, be able to see the measurements constantly moving for you there is really all I would need. Uh, but some of the other laser measures that I've tested have that continuous beeping whenever you're doing a new measurement. So not really my favorite thing, but, you know, it's something that's there. And I checked the manual. I can't really find a way to turn that off exactly there. And there's also very other cool features with the Misley DP20. So check this out. Say we are looking at the side of this uh, table here, and we want to know how much distance we have down and how much distance we have up. So say we're going to trying to find out um, exactly how much space we have either above or below the item here. So what I can do is I can activate the top laser here, and that allows me to basically from anywhere in the room here, I can then line this up with the top of the table, and then I can also have it make that adjustment there. So you can see here that I have got 2.598 feet. That's telling me how tall the table is, and I've got 5.1 feet to the top of the ceiling. So that is a really cool feature that you don't see on any other brands there. This is the first time I have seen this. Now be aware that this laser is not a measurement on the top. It's just basically to allow you to line up your laser level here. So you can do this from 10 feet back, you can do this from 5 feet back. You can even do it right up against the table. It's going to work just the same. 
All right, and there's one other really cool feature in here that I have not seen anywhere else to date. Uh, it's gonna be definitely a more advanced feature to use, but basically what it is, it allows you to create increments. So say you're putting up like a picture frame or you're trying to install can lighting in a room and you wanna know exactly where to put them. So down here, you can pick the increment button and you can basically say, hey, in this room, I wanna have increments of a quarter, you can go a fifth and you can go almost as high, I think to, let's see how high we can go to a 16th there. So you can go all the way down to about a half. So let's do a fifth here. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put this on the wall and you basically wanna start from the edge and definitely wanna start even farther down if I was starting here, but check this out. We're gonna start here and now it's gonna tell me when I hit each of my one fifth increments. So I am at, okay, so there we go. I'm at my second of fifth increment. Now let's go up the wall again here. We're gonna try to get to the third of my fifth increment here. Right there, it's gonna be my third increment right there. So I can just mark this all along the wall here, whether I'm doing painting, can lighting, um, laying out something across the wall here. Even works if I'm doing about half inch or half of a wall here, it'll work exactly the same. And the nice thing is it doesn't even matter if I'm starting at the start of the wall or I'm starting all the way in the middle here. So I'm gonna be in the middle of this wall here. I'm just starting in a random place. I chose tenths here. So it's telling me that I am near the seven and eighth tenths of this wall here. So let's see how easy this is to find basically seven tenths of the wall in here. So I'm between sixth and seventh now. Right there is gonna be my seventh, seven tenths of a wall to the right here. So that is pretty cool. And that is telling me exactly where I need to be. Let's turn this off for now. And I want to compare this thing to the Sigmund CD60. So if you're wondering price-wise, this thing runs about $200, but it's currently got about a $60 coupon off right now. This thing goes for about $100 or so. And then I also have my two kind of daily use. I've got the DeWalt Atomic, which I got this thing on eBay for about $20. That is the DW055PL. I also got the Bosch professional the gm20 that's going to be part of their blaze series now these are all laser measures but they all have basically entirely different uses honestly um, because the dewalt and the bosch are just basically a single button use so all you got to do is hit the button and there you go there's your current measurement right there there's nothing else to it whereas the sigmund and the Miles Lee are going to be for much more complicated measurements. They can do the Pythagorean theorem. They can, of course, do volume. They can do area. There's a lot more of these measurements these laser measures can do for measurements. So that's definitely something to be, be aware of. You're going to spend more money, but you're also going to get a lot more feature-rich laser measure. So let's do a quick little measurement test here. And I'm going to set the first one, the Miles Lee. We are just going to do a simple measurement here. We are just going to check one side and we're going to try to get to about one foot here so one thing i know about the misley here is no matter how little i move it it goes from 0.997 and it won't give me the exact one foot measurement here if i just get it over just a hair you can see me move it just a tiny bit it goes it goes to 1.001 foot there i can't get it to go to exactly one foot so something to be aware of there and that one foot measurement is going to be from the late basically from the wall there where the laser is hitting to the end of the unit it's going to be my entire one foot measurement there so now let's try this with the sigmund here and see how close i can get to a one foot measurement here I will say one thing with the Sigmund that I find is a little bit easier is it's only got a one button push here that allows me to get the basically the right laser off and the left laser on. Whereas the Milesley, I have to hold down basically and turn off one laser to turn the other laser on. So it's a little bit less intuitive. The Sigmund is definitely a little bit easier in that way there. Let's get this down to exactly one foot here. There we go. Sigmund's at one foot. And we can see a tiny bit of a difference here in the back. Let me get the camera moved a little bit here. Tiny little bit. If you look from right here, you can see the Milesley is just ever so slightly back, but that's also showing basically a one one thousandth of a foot back to the right a little bit. Although I shouldn't be able to see that that well. So I'm not really sure. Let's pull out a tape measure here and see which one is the most accurate. Well, as far as I can tell with the tape measure, they are both exactly on one foot. So let's also try out the DeWalt. 
which these single laser levels are much, much simpler to use. That's all you're trying to accomplish because they don't really need much adjustment. You just turn them on and you're good to go. All right, so my DeWalt does the exact same thing too. It only shows me 994, or if I just slide out just a tiny bit, it'll show, what's that, 1997. Oh, there we go, almost there we go. Let me try to get a little more. There we go, 1004 there. So it's just ever so slightly in a little bit closer than the Sigmund. And let's also try out the Bosch Blaze as well too and get that just to one foot. So the Bosch Blaze gives me uh, basically the breakdown, just like a tape measure. So I have um, fractions there. Depending on your preference, you can also change that on many of these laser levels. All right, so that is all four laser measures, basically telling you that that is one foot right there. So if we compare the laser level um, little dots here on the wall, let me get the DeWalt one turned back on here. That one always likes to turn off really quick. And then the Sigmin there. You can see the different lines here. I will say the Milesley seems a little bit smaller, about the same brightness as all four of the other ones. Um, but I do like how basically it's on the side here. It's going to give me a little bit of a horizontal. Um, the Sigmund looks like they kind of rotated the wrong way. It's more like a diagonal. Um, the DeWalt on the side is going to be a nice horizontal. And then, of course, the Bosch is also going to be like kind of like a weird, like the Bosch and the Sigmund weren't really, you know, calibrated from the factory. They're kind of just like slapped inside the units from what it looks like to me. Um, whereas the Milesley and the DeWalt both have that nice horizontal little line there with the uh, laser measures. And kind of my one biggest complaint with some of the bilateral laser measures, of course, are they are both beeping that they're in continuous mode, which the single laser, the single lines do not do that. Um, I checked the manual to try to turn that stuff off, and there's no way to really turn those things off there, unfortunately. All right, so at the end of the day, it's pretty hard to go wrong with any of these laser levels, but it really depends on what you're doing with them. Not all laser levels are created equally, because with a bilateral laser level, it allows you to do a lot more things. So if we come in here, we go to the modes. There's going to be, of course, just regular measurement mode there. We have a surface. We have volume. Uh, we, of course, see Pythagorean, uh, Pythagorean theorems mode there, a couple of different angle modes, and that's going to be about it. So lots of options here, of course, to check through depending on what you're doing, and that basically allows you to really do a lot of complicated measurements very simply, which is nice. Whereas just these single laser laser measurements here are just going to be quick measurements that allow you to just you know measure a room very quickly. However, though, having two lasers actually gives you quite an advantage because you can make a measurement of a room in about half the time, allowing you to basically say, hey, you can go to this wall here, give that measurement, and go to this wall here, give that measurement. Whereas these, you kind of have to go up either up against the wall, or you have to do it from the center of the room and make two measurements going each direction. Now, of course, they all have their pros and cons, but the fact that these bilateral laser measure coming down in price is very cool to see. So honestly, for just a little bit more money, the Misley, along with that app, is very, very intuitive. And there's a lot of features here. I definitely want to try this thing out for a little bit longer to really get a good grasp of how well this thing works. And I definitely like it a lot. Now, I will say, I wish that some of these brands, you know, that sell these on Amazon would make these laser levels a little bit tougher. If you notice the DeWalt and the Bosch both have some of that, you know, rubber overmolding on them that allows them to be a little bit tougher, withstand some, you know, drops, some dirt, some, you know, rough work sites, whereas the Sigmund and the Milesley are both bas basically both just a smooth metal casing on these. Not really going to hold up too well on a more of a rougher job site type of use. But other than that, though, they do have plenty of features. Some I didn't even get, it, get to go into in this video because I just haven't had a chance to really use them, or some of them are just kind of a bit above my head, too, with what they are. But if you're using, looking for a great bilateral laser level, this is a fantastic one to pick up. It does, of course, give you are, you, are you basically level when you're making the measurement as well, too? As well as the app control, like I mentioned before, is a phenomenal upgrade compared to a lot of our laser levels that don't have that at this price point of being around $200, which is a fantastic deal. So guys, thanks again, and thanks again to Miley for sending me this. Very cool to check this thing out. Definitely do some more in-depth uh, work with this thing and see how well it really does work. So guys, thanks for watching. Take care, have a great day, and stay safe out there.